experience the flavor, exotic carrots again. Yes, yaman. So, um, hey, I see you got my order ready. Yeah, sure, your order's <laughs> ready. Okay, what's your name? Leslie Austin. And you're with the uh, Barbados, Barbados Investment and Development Corporation from right. Barbados. So tell me about some of the cuisine you're serving here at the uh, Good Food Festival. We are serving like that. What fish is that? Cakes. This fish is cakes. fish cakes made from codfish. My fish cakes, right? Yes. I got that's my order there, right? Fish cakes. But I'll let people sample it. But go ahead. Yes. And they're served using dips made in Barbados. So there's an apple chutney. Golden apple chutney. Actually, I tried that. That is delicious. That's yeah. great. Or there are pepper sauces. Pepper sauces, yeah. Yes. And what's so unique about these pepper sauces from Barbados? These are made with like scotch bonnet peppers. Some carry mustard, some are just with pepper. Mm -hmm. Or we have a jam dip. A made jam with guava, dip? Yes, made with guava jam and a slight hint of pepper added. Just slight? Yes, just a slight. Okay, just a slight. All right. And what else do you got here? Well, that's basically it where the dips are concerned, but we've, okay. got, we've also got wet seasonings. Okay. Which, which we are using to marinate our chicken, fish, beef, pork. What do you got here? This is cuckoo. Cuckoo? Yes. Made from cornmeal and okras. Now, where does the name cuckoo come from? Because I know what it means in this part of the country. It's a Barbadian dish. It's actually, it's our national dish. Your national dish? Yes, it is. Um, is that what the chef's making here? Yes, it is. That's what the chef is stirring over there. Chef Chris, uh, tell me about your... Are you going cuckoo over the cuckoo or what? What are you doing here? Yeah, it takes a while to mix. You have to uh, give it a good stir and make sure you get the cornmeal cooked right out, okay? You can... Uh, Sort of similar to polenta, that kind of consistency. It's just a fine form. Uh, again, as Leslie said, it's the national dish of Barbados. It's a national dish? Well, I've never heard of it. Yes, it is. Our national dish. Wow. It is How often long? served with flying fish. But we don't have any flying fish right now, so we're using codfish. I see, yeah. Uh, actually, I tasted that before, and it's delicious. Yeah, it's a good pairing with the with the cornmeal type yes, of... Yes, and that's yeah. all natural. Cornmeal and okra. And very healthy. Wow. Nice, very nice to have. I, I like your stable there. Yep. <laughs> um, so I like to experience more of the flavor from the Caribbean, from Barbados in particular. What else you got going on here? We've got Moby. Who? Moby. Moby. Yes. This Mo is a this is a drink made from the bark of a tree. The Moby tree. Yes. So yeah, it's made into a syrup. I did my syrup. homework. <laughs> What syrup. is Moby syrup? Like, what's so good about it? Well, obviously, because you people way back home always, you know, see food as medicine. You always eat traditional foods because food is to, you know, it's medicine. It's for your health. It's really, re it, it is very good so in I'm that sure it's refreshing. Story. Yeah. And it's a good cleanser in terms uh, of when you drink. Cleanser, yeah. Yes, helps to rid your body of any toxins and that sort of thing. I see. And is, is that a new product or has that been around for a while? No, this, was, another, this has another, been around for a year. Another national treasure. Yes, it is. Never yeah. heard of it, Moby Syrup. Well, how do you use it? You just add water, actually. Um, usually about one part Moby to about three parts water. Yeah. And add some ice. Mm -hmm. And it's great as a drink. Oh, I see. I think he's got one there in the cooler. Yes, yes there it is. Here can you have him pour me one? Sure, I can. Ready for drinking. Okay, I gotta check this out here. Mm. Kind of sweet and subtly, um, subtle herby. Yes. Very herby. And he probably made it a little sweeter because of that hint of herb. <laughs> See, I like the herb, her, herbs or herbal teas really dark and plain because it's, it's medicinal. But I mean, not everybody has that palate. So you've sweetened it with something. Um, again, again, to um, clean you out. Um, now, is this drink to be drunk and cold or can you use well, it as a it, tea? It depends. Or? It depends. There are persons who like to have it cold especially when the day is hot, it's very refreshing. Or you can have it at room temperature. Ah, but yeah. it's great either. Well, it is very different, yeah. What else you got going on here? We, we have like the coconut coolers. I had my eye on that coconut cooler because I'm nuts about coconut. There's the coconut cooler and there's the plus. Oh, plus. They're both refreshing. Plus is an energy drink. And where's that made from? These are made from... They carry um, fructose and glucose, 
Okay. Right? And it's good for athletes, especially in their training or after having performed. It helps to rejuvenate them. I and see. the coconut cola made from the coconut, which is a very refreshing drink. What served chill. Now, um, what's in the ingredients of the coconut cooler? The main ingredient here is the coconut. As you know, it's a natural okay. thing. Can you read it, the ingredients for me? Are you able to do that? It's, just, it's, it's going to be mainly coconut with sugar. Okay. Um, the ingredients are so small. I think, does that have alcohol in it as well? Like no, it's no, no, alcohol? no alcohol. It's got 1.05% 1. 1. alcohol there, I know oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it uh, makes it quite the drink. <laughs> a hint, a hint of alcohol. I've got a hint. A hint. A hint. Okay. Wait, what if, I see the chef uh, preparing something else here, Chef Chris. Uh, what do you got going on there? Is this is it meat? Yeah, braised beef. It's uh, chuck flat. So we braise it with some of the ingredients that we have over here. The dried rubs, a couple of seasoning and whatnot. And we have a good job. Uh, very, very tender, very, very thin. And you pair it up, of course, with some of these unique sauces? Yes, the dry rubs. Which one is a good one to pair with, do you think? It's uh, great. The, there's a complete rub there. And uh, this one as well, the uh, wet season. Yeah. Wet season. Very nice. Okay. So any other uh, flavors from uh, Barbados we need to know about? Yes, we have uh, ah. Clayton's Cola Tonic. It's like you pull it out of a bag of a hat. It is called the... the <laughs> that is quite the size here. Look, look how big that bottle is. It's called the drink you drink when you don't want to drink. That it's is because... It's non-alcoholic. It's non-alcoholic. So it can go as an alcoholic mixer or it goes great with just like Sprite with uh, uh, two cubes of ice and it's great. Now why is it great? Well, like what's inside of it? This is made from the cola nut. Oh! This made from the cola nut. Wow. Now are there any medicinal benefits from this traditionally? Just as a, just as a non-alcoholic drink that oh, I see. you can refreshing. just have a refreshing. I see. Any hints of anything in there? No, 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 no. This just is non-alcoholic. Just a hint so of... Savory tastes. <laughs> savory ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll get it right for that one. Moving forward, if we want to know more about um, you know different exotic flavors from Barbados, what website do we go to? What website should we use? That's okay. That's okay. What website should we use? Find out more information. About if you wanted more information, just one minute. Yeah. You're from the Barbados. Uh, totally, totally Barbados. There's a website called Totally Barbados. Dot com. Yes, and you can get lots of information on Barbados. Oh, did we forget something here? Yeah, these are also products of Barbados. This is it's a cake. what we call a great cake. Yeah. And it has fruits and rum. A hint of rum. <laughs> um, it is more so often served, especially around Christmas time. Holidays, it's one, yeah. of the, it's one of the fantastic things that go at Christmas time. It's called Bajan Break Cake. I see. Very nice. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir.